All right, Hades Omega here. So, right, as you've been seeing, I've, I've been posting a lot of videos about, uh, uh, I'm trying to fix the battery on my uh, Prius here, and I'm doing some uh, some uh, preventative maintenance since this car's got a lot of miles, it's got 210,000 miles. This is the blower motor for the um, for the cooling system for the battery. It goes right behind this dealy here. Um, yeah, so to take it off is not that hard. Once you get all the interior pieces off, uh, the hardest part is getting to this one right here underneath. So basically, it kind of sits in here. All right, I went ahead and put it back in. So, uh, so I'm going to show you how to uh, take it out and clean it. So, um, so you got to take. Uh, yeah, I didn't put it all back. You got to take this out. This is the top. This is the one of the one of the ducts that goes to the top of the battery here, or the bottom. Which well, I know there's one that goes to the top and one at the bottom, but it's not important right now. Uh, so basically, you just, this will be here like this. You got to kind of like I think you pull it out of the battery, and then it comes out of the battery like that, and then it comes out like that. Pretty easy. Uh, yeah, and then um, and then there's three bolts. I've already taken them out. There's one here. One here, and then there's one hiding behind this duct right here. All right, kind of hard to see. See it? Stick my finger on it right there. So it's really dark. There, see? It's hiding back there. And uh, so after that, you can go ahead and pull it out, and then there's going to be some wires connected to it. Uh, you gotta disconnect this. It's pretty easy. There's like a little clip that unclips it right here. And then, uh, just go and take the blower out. Like so. It's just kind of just come out. And you gotta take this off. It's, there's two wires connected to it. And this one just has like a little clip that you gotta undo. Oh, this is hard to do one-handed. If you have trouble, just use pliers. But there you go. I got it out. So there it is. It's out. And so uh, I've already cleaned it, but uh, there was a lot of uh, dust and lint, you know, all that stuff accumulated over time into the inside the blower. So what you want to do is, uh, it was only on one side of the blade too. It's kind of weird. If you look in here. There's other blades. You can see the blades in there from the turbine. It's still a little dirty, a little bit. But what I did is uh, I got a, a brush and I brushed it to kind of loosen up all the dirt. And then you can get like a vacuum cleaner. Or what I did is I used a, a blow gun from an air compressor. And I, or like you can get a can of compressed air if you don't have anything like that around and just blow out all the crap out of here. It doesn't spin super freely too. I don't know. Hopefully it's not broken or anything, but I'm sure it's fine. It, it seemed to be working fine. So that's how you clean it, and then you just put it back. Uh, yeah, and then you saw it's like a kind of a pain to put it back. You have to remember how to do. Just remember that um, this part up here, this part, this wiggly part here, it just goes uh, it goes right here. Oh, also um, I think uh, I think I had to pull. There's another uh. There's a clip on one of these here, and you just kind of guess you just kind of just wedge it out. I think it was on. I think it was on this piece here. This is another piece. This is the piece that goes on the bottom. Yeah. So I think this was resting on top of it. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So that's how you go ahead and clean that. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think there was another clip that held it to one of these ducts, and all I did was I just I just pried it out with a screwdriver. And it right out. I was fortunate enough not to break it. So, uh, so yeah, that's a good little maintenance. I, I didn't expect there to be that much dust. Well, I expect there to be something, but there was a lot, and it was just on this side, the the inlet side, and not the exhaust side here. The exhaust was pretty clean. Uh, you can probably go a step further, and yeah, actually, I might do that too. You can probably spray it with some electronics cleaner. That'll help. That'll help loosen up all the 
the crap in there. And so electronics cleaner shouldn't um, shouldn't harm any of the electronics, and it, it dries really fast. Or uh, you can uh, you can get a Q-tip and wet it with like alcohol or water or something, and then just clean each of the each of the blades. So uh, yeah, well, so 210,000 miles, and not too bad. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. I'm doing that, and uh, and I'm cleaning out these ducks. The ducks are pretty clean. I'm just blowing them with the blower. They actually look pretty clean inside. Let's see. Not too bad. Some other. I'm gonna try to take the other ones out too. I'm not too worried about them. So that's how you clean your blower. It is a mega out. The the battery cooling system blower. All right, I just wanted to point out that uh, if you're cleaning these ducts out, there are these things that kind of look like air filters here, and they're really flimsily put on, but uh, but there's this little uh, kind of like a felt stuff in here, and uh, I just blew it out with the blower, and a bunch of dust just came out of it, so I'm assuming uh, that's not good. <laughs> so there's two of them on this one. These are the only ones that have it. This one was the one that goes like right here. Uh, like right here. Yeah. So it goes right there. See, and you have to pop this clip off right here. Uh, this one I used a little uh, small pry bar. It's kind of hard to get to with a screwdriver. And there's another. There's another one right here. And then just and just lifts right out, just like that. After. So uh, let me show you what I went and did. All right. So I just took my little blowgun here. And I just blew this. A bunch of dust came out of it. It's probably most of it's gone already. Let's, and there's another one right here. It's probably gonna fall off if I. Pull it off like that. Not much came off, but uh. You can see that I um, uh, I did it in the dark earlier, so uh, that's what happened. But uh, you can also, if you can kind of open it a little bit and then blow the underside with the air gun, that'll help too. Yeah, it's not going to come out because it's riveted. I mean, I guess you could re-rivet it, but why bother, you know? And then, uh, and then I'm going to blow the inside of the ducting. It's a little dirty. This is the part that actually goes into the cabin of the car that goes by ne this, next to the driver's seat. It's a pretty light piece of plastic. My compressor just kicked on, so yeah. That'll help. It seems like this is the most dirtiest piece right here uh, besides the blower. See, look at, look at this right here. A little dust bunny hanging in there, right? This is actually, this is the part that goes to the blower. Um, this is the intake, so, uh, so yeah, this is the intake, so the air comes in through here. So if it does come in through here, then yeah, and this, obviously, the dirt will be on the outside here. So, I mean, you're supposed to blow air filter from the, from the inside to the outside, not the way I just did it, but, and whatever, <laughs> it'll be fine. Uh, and then, uh, you, if you can, get like a, like a wet wipe or something. And, and do the inside, um, just wipe the inside because it's still it's dead dirt kind of stuck in there. Look at that. It's proof, yeah, it's pretty dirty. So, this is dirty, the dirtiest, uh, the dir dirtiest, uh, cooling vent, uh, cooling, uh, pipe there is. Um, the other ones are pretty clean. I didn't really have to do much with it. That and the blower, those are the two things you want to clean. So, you want to hit the outside and the inside here. I kind of just Pry this open a little bit and stick the blowgun in there. Shoot that out, you know, and then shoot the inside again. Get all that dust out, and um, and just get a, a like a wet wipe or something, and then uh, wipe the inside down as much as you can. Like I can, I can get my hand a fair amount in there. So my hand's probably in the middle of the pipe right now. You can't see it, but yeah, I would suggest doing that. It's good preventative maintenance, you know, if you. That's a good way to, you know, care and feed for your Toyota Prius. <laughs> All just right, got done cleaning this uh, 
this uh, cooling duct right here and I just wanted to emphasize that uh, cleaning these uh, cooling ducts is a good idea it can save your battery because uh, I heard that the number one thing that kills these batteries here the traction batteries are uh, they get overheated um, because uh, they're like in a hot environment so I heard like Priuses that live in a cooler climate last longer than ones that live in like a hot like a desert type environment so so I mean like I guess if you cart your car outside it's not a good thing but they say uh, they say that the battery likes to stay at the same temperature as as you do it, it, it likes the same temperatures as human beings so, so you gotta try to keep it at that temperature so if if you're hot in the car then the battery's hot you know and uh, and you'll know it's hot by the this fan will kick on where, where did that guy go? Uh, this this guy will kick on and you'll hear it um, if it's kind of quiet you can hear it so uh, yeah so uh, but uh yeah it's really important that you keep this cooling system clean so it um, can cool can cool the battery down so basically well, maybe I'll show you how it works later but uh, I gotta put it back together first <laughs> So there's quite a few amount of sensors and stuff that connects to it too. Alright, here's my guy.